Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And this is gonna—we're gonna take a little break today uh, from the, you know, the Carnage Week that we've been doing. I had a couple episodes recorded, and I'm gonna edit one. I'll get that one as soon up after this as possible. Um, obviously, the past couple days, my work schedule has been really intense, and it's taken a lot out of me. And I think I, you know, most likely went back to work a little too soon. But since I was out of vacation days, I kind of really didn't have a choice if I wanted to make money. Uh, so I've been kind of tapping myself out. So when I came home uh, the past couple nights, I just been crashing. Uh, the most productive thing I've done actually is uh, rearrange my apartment. Uh, so uh, so it's been it's been intense. And actually, this is the second time I'm recording this because I've been having such bad luck lately that uh, somehow uh, the audio or something got screwed up in the footage of my last reaction to this. So you're not going to see a genuine reaction, which I normally hate. You know, I that I'm not doing. I, I this actually be my first one that I'll record. You know and post that I've you know seen twice uh, but I just thought it would be fun because uh, you know some of you guys know this is out there some of you don't so I thought this would be good to bring your to uh, to your attention and then also we'll talk about uh, you know a couple other things at the end of this video uh, like what's coming up on this channel after carnage week so uh, without further ado I want to check this out uh, for the you know release of the blu-ray and DVD uh, that's coming out for venom Sony put together a rom-com trailer for Venom uh, and so and then they release like some special clips online so I actually have like a little deleted scene that I'm going to show you guys um, and then I'm also going to show you uh, this trailer so we're going to watch this right now we're going to react to it uh, even though like I said it's not my first reaction so this is not a really genuine reaction but I'm sure I'm still going to smile because the way they cut this together was really fun it's very Deadpool-esque but also I like that it's Sony leaning into like a lot of the memes that went out there with the love relationship between you know Eddie and the symbiote and I liked it that Sony's just like, you know what, let's embrace that. You know, people are kind of poking at us and having fun with it. Let's have fun back. And so I like that they put this together. It shows that they kind of have the finger on the pulse of the fandom of this movie and the people that went to see it and how they're reacting to it. And I think that's great. Uh, that's always good for a sign for a company to at least acknowledge and understand why fans or some fans love what's going on. And to do this, you know, as like a cheesy fun thing to promote the Blu-ray and DVD, I thought was really cool. And again, like it kind of comes from Deadpool and other things we've seen online where they take serious movies like The Shining and they, you know, edit it to a rom-com. Uh, but I think that's a good idea. And it's, it's you know, no matter where good ideas come from, sometimes it's good to embrace them and, uh, and you know, mimic them in some way or downright steal them, whatever. But I still thought this was cool. So let's watch it. It's only 30 seconds long. I'm going to hit play now. And uh, <laughs> this holiday, fall in love. I am them, and you are mine. Two worlds. Oh, this, this is so good. <laughs> Two really hearts. You change your mind. <laughs> you want to talk about that kiss? Oh, that, uh, that was your buddy's idea. It did feel kind of great, though. What? <laughs> December 11th and Blu-ray, uh, December 18th. Oops. Oops. Sorry about that. Um... Yeah, that just looks like fun. I mean, it's so cool that they put that together. Uh, two hearts, one city, or whatever, you know. Uh, and it's just, I don't know. It le Like I said, it leans into that humor, that thing that, you know, the memes that came out after this movie. I still see them all the time. There's, like, a lot of artwork where it's, like, people, where it's, like, Venom, you know, like, you know, embracing Eddie Brock and stuff. Um, so it's it's cool that Sony just like, eh, play into it. Who cares? We're making a lot of money. What does it matter? Uh, I love that. I love that they have a great sense of humor about it and that they're having fun with this. And I, I think hopefully um, this will affect marketing going into the second one, you know? Like, how are they going to do the second one? Uh, especially with Carnage. Like, I'm, I'm super interested to see how they start marketing the second film considering how brutal Carnage is, you know? Like, this movie was, it, you know, you could market it as like a fun horror action movie kind of thing uh, but the next one I'm really curious to see like which direction they go in especially with Morbius because I guess it'll come down to what kind of tone Morbius has um, so I'm thinking Morbius that you know they because it, it's Sony too they might do something like Underworld with it where it's like you know martial arts and, and jumping on wires and you know all that stuff I'm kind of hoping they they don't really do that but if they do and it, it looks like it works Eh, you know, maybe I'll buy into it. I don't know. So we'll see when that, you know, comes up. Uh, but also when I want to show you here, I don't have it to play in front of you guys because I think it was part of the Instagram stories. But I'm going to play this clip here at the bottom and I'll talk over it while it's playing, uh, which is a deleted scene from the Venom movie. And this is also to promote the Blu-ray and DVD. This was released on Instagram. And like I said, I couldn't find it on their page. So I think this might have been just like a, a stories that I saw pop up or a sponsored video that popped up temporarily. I don't know if it's still there or not. Uh, but you'll see there's this little kid, like his name's Joey, I think. 
think he was on the IMDb page. And I was wondering, I was like, oh, there's like some little kid that was credited with a name, like Joey or something, and he wasn't in the movie, or at least I didn't, rec rec you know, remember him being in the movie. And it was like, oh, he's from this scene here. So it looks like this kid is looking outside, and you know, Venom is like tearing apart this uh, parking, uh, you know, uh, area, you know, near his house or something like that. And I don't know if it's, you know, when it takes place in the movie, if it's Venom venting or letting off some steam or what kind of the context of the scene is looks like he is looks like he's like tearing apart someone's specific car i don't know if like this is a you know an act of um maybe he's like getting back at his boss that fired him and he's like tearing the roof off of his boss's car um i don't know i don't know what the context is or, or who's you know if it's just a random car or not or if it belongs to a character but it'll be cool to see i think there's some deleted scenes on the movie and we will talk about that in the next episode. In the next episode, I want to focus on the different versions of uh, the Blu-ray and DVD that are coming out. Uh, so we're going to talk about, or mainly the Blu-rays. We're going to talk about those coming uh, in the next episode. We're going to talk about the, the Best Buy version, uh, the Target version, and uh, like the Walmart version, and like what you get with those exclusives. And we already did kind of mention the Amazon version, so I probably won't talk too much about that, but we might still bring it up in the next episode. Uh, but what I also want to tell you guys is, uh, you know, next week after we finish Carnage Week, I'm probably going to need Monday and Tuesday or Tuesday and Wednesday to wrap up Carnage Week and get through uh, Carnage Family Feud and Carnage USA and then also the web of uh, Venom Carnage Born one shot that came out recently. Uh, so all those, I'm off next Tuesday and Wednesday, so you'll probably see me pump out most of my videos in. I just got to make it through the weekend. I got the Into the Spider-Verse premiere. Um, again, thank you, Andrew, for bringing me along with you. So I am very excited for that. I'll be shooting videos and footage for that. And me and Andrew will be using certain hashtags and stuff uh, to, you know, you know, get our images out there. We're going to be sharing stuff on Instagram, sharing stuff on Twitter if we can. Uh, mostly I'll be on Instagram because my phone kind of only really, you know, has the Instagram app. Uh, the Twitter app doesn't really work on my phone anymore. So, uh, so you'll probably see a lot of stuff on Twitter. So make sure you follow me if you want to see Into the Spider-Verse updates from the premiere. And hopefully I'll get a chance to, you know, get a picture with someone who worked on the movie or is in the movie. That would be pretty awesome. I'm going to do my best. Uh, but after we get through this week, starting next week after Carnage Week, we got to get back into Eddie Brock. We got to wrap up some stories that we never touched on before, before we get into Flash Thompson. So I'm thinking for the next couple months, we're probably going to finish up the Eddie Brock stories from the 90s and early 2000s and, and some mid 2000s stuff. Um, so we have a lot of things coming up. We got Uncanny Origins Venom, and we're going to do this with the new style where I'm flipping through the book in front of you, and you'll see that, and then you'll also see, you know, my reaction to it. So we're going to be, you know, doing a bunch of those videos coming up. So we got Uncanny Origins Venom. Uh, we have Venom versus Darkhawk, and we're going to do a series of videos called Versus. And so it's like Venom versus Darkhawk. And I have all five issues that Venom appeared in Darkhawk. We're going to talk about all of those. Uh, we have Venom versus Nightwatch, and I have both uh, issues of that. So that'll be another episode. Venom versus Nova. Uh, Venom versus Silver Sable in the Wild Pack. We got both issues here. Uh, we're going to have Venom versus the year 2099. Uh, so we're going to talk about Venom in the year 2099 versus Spider-Man. And also the the, the one-shot crossover. I don't know if we talked about that yet. Uh, with Venom and uh, Spider-Man uh, in the Spider-Man 2099 crossover. It was like a one-shot. So we'll probably talk about all that together. Uh, since Daredevil was canceled uh, yesterday, which is a real bummer, uh, I figured we could talk about a story where the Kingpin is actually Venom. So this will be a cool, like, Elseworldsy, you know, what-if storyline that we're going to talk about. So we'll get into that. And then we're also going to talk about the first time Wolverine and Venom fought in the comics. And no, it was not in Venom Tooth and Claw, like some people think it was. It was actually in Marvel Comics Presents. And so we are going to go through these six issues of uh, by drawn by Sam Keith, amazing stuff, uh, and it's Wolverine versus Venom. It's their first interaction uh, against each other. And then we're definitely going to top it off uh, with Vo uh, Venom versus Iron Man, which I don't own in print, but we'll talk about it. I have the digital copies, so we'll talk about that confrontation. And then we're also going to do Venom versus the Avengers. Uh, this is Death Trap: The Vault. I can't. I know we brought it up a bunch in in the, in the series before, but I don't think we did a proper discussion video on it. So I have a first printing here. It's a giant size. I love this thing. This came out in 1991, and uh, it's a beautiful book. And it's Ron Lim's artwork. Uh, Danny Fingeroth wrote the storyline. And this is very early in Venom's career, right after he was caught for the first time and put in jail. And there's like a jailbreak going on, and Venom's in the middle of it, and the Avengers show up, along with like uh, this group of villains led by Mystique called Something Force. I can't remember what they were called. Uh, uh, Future Force or Task Force? Uh, not Task Force. That's a uh, Suicide Squad. But yeah, there was, uh, I can't remember the name. Maybe one of you guys do down below. But we're going to get into all that. Uh, Freedom Force. Maybe it was Freedom Force. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get into all that. That's going to be fun. And so that'll be, you know, our basically our videos from now on up until Christmas and into January. And, uh, and then any movie news we get, we'll talk about. And then when the movie comes out, 
we'll talk about DVD special features and all that. And again, that'll transition into the next episode where we go through all the special features that are listed so far that have been revealed, and we'll talk a little bit more about the money that Venom has made so far uh, this weekend in China. It's November 30th right now, um, and I already saw some numbers coming in for Venom this weekend, and it's very exciting. So we're going to talk about that in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.